Good afternoon friends, we were doing concise physics pressure in fluids chapters numerical problem. The last problem of this uh, of this problem set states that that's problem number 12 class 9. Two cylindrical vessels fitted with pistons A and B of area cross section 8 cm square and the area is given 320 cm square. So let's see what kind of figure it could okay so something like this yeah two cylindrical vessels see you can say it's, it's vessel a and vessel b okay and uh, the cross section area is like uh, the circle cross section area one with uh, the area of this is given as a centimeter square and area of this is given as 320 centimeter square so like as the B is the bigger one the A is the smaller one I mean the narrower one and the the fatter one kind of a thing and so uh, they are joined by the tube so this is this is this tube tube okay this is this tube this is this tube that is joining these two vessels and uh, they're completely filled with water so the blue color of this liquid this is like water like this is water water this is water here water here and obviously since it's connected to the tube this is also water here okay, okay. so water water everywhere not a drop to drink okay and uh, what are they asking? The pressure in piston A. What is the pressure in piston A? I mean, what is the pressure out here? What is the pressure? What is the pressure out here? What is this pressure out here? Like P A. And the pressure in piston B. What is the pressure that is felt? That is felt out here, kind of a thing. And then other questions. What is given? The mass, a mass of four kgs, placed on. The piston A. So, if I say there is a mass out here of 4 kg, kind of a thing, it's, it's, it's a mass of, it's a mass of huge mass of that is placed on it. Okay, through this, connected through this, through this, you know, rod that is placed on that, which is pushing downwards, really pushing that, pushing this water. So, this is 4 kg. So what happens is when it is pushing out here, it will feel some pressure out here. This pressure is getting transmitted through these red dots and then this is pressing this thing out here. And so it will feel an upward force like this, like here. I want to get out of this, of this vessel, this piston. This piston wants to get out of this vessel. Okay, so that's that's the situation. Okay, it's like flow of pressure. We just mark this this way because since this pressure is downwards, it is like flowing this here and this hitting it on top of it, and it's going to get out of it. So that's that's the situation. So uh, <clears throat> the first part is like, what is the pressure in piston? A? That's easy, right? The pressure is nothing but force per unit area. The area is given 8 cm square. The force is given kg. Okay, the mass is given 4 kg. So we can see if the mass is 4 kg, the pressure, the, the, the force is 4 kgf. Okay, so we have we have learned before that if you just convert the easiest way to convert a mass to a weight or a force is just add f with it. Like you know, that's a force kg force kgf instead of converting to Newton, multiplied by g. So it's like. 4 kgf you can even do that so the forces 4 kgf what is the area area is nothing but 8 centimeter square so everything is in cgs we can so we just we just you know get it done it is directed by 4 we get 1 we did it by 4 we get 4 sorry very sorry very sorry 
it will be 4, we get 2. Sometimes it happens. Just divide 8 by 4, you get 2. That is nothing but half. Which is nothing but 0 0.5. Why is half 0 0.5? For example, you take 1 rupee coin and you just divide it 2. You just give your friend half of that money and keep half of this. How much you'll have? 50 paisa each. 0.5 is nothing but 50 paisa. Like half of anything of 1 is 0.5. Half of it. 0.5 is in decimal form and half is in, you know, in fraction form. Even if you want to do it, we can even do it. Like, you know, in terms of half, 1 divided by 2. It's not going anywhere. So we put a 0. It's We need a decimal. So you just get 10 out here and it's just 5 out here. So it's like, okay, so that's. And what's the unit? K, G, F per centimeter square. So that answers your first part. Okay, what's the pressure? A, that's your first question. So this answers your first question okay now let's see what does the second question the pressure on piston B by Pascal's law we know that pressure anywhere in this connected liquid anywhere this point this point this point this point anywhere will be the same exactly that's what Pascal's law says that PA is equal to PB, in that case, it's equal to any point, any point on this liquid, the pressure is always be the same, no matter what. So, that answer your second question. PB is equal to the same, 0 0.5 kg F per centimeter square. We have to be very careful with this uh, you know, units, you know, 50% of your marks goes because you don't write or you forget to write or you just silly enough not to write the units properly, okay? It's, 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 it's the same, it's exactly the same anywhere. So, I think that's clear. That's because it is Lord Pascal said so, okay? Lord Pascal said so that it's everywhere the same. That's why it's easy for us to do it. Okay, now question number three. The thrust on piston B. Now that's not that difficult, but then you have to do one more step. We know, we know if the pressure on B is nothing, 0 0.5 kg F per centimeter square we get this we get this thrust thrust is nothing but the force if 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 pressure is equal to f by a when f is a thrust or the force so you just cross multiply a with p and we get force or thrust as pressure into its area right now we're talking of area of B so piston B and this pressure of B so we get what's the pressure of B that we got 0 0.5 0 0.5 and what's the area given we know the area is here 320 centimeters square so everything is in centimeters and kgf so we just multiply without changing 320 centimeters squared. Now is a funny part. Now is the funny part is the calculations. Everything is done. Like we can we can do it in two three ways. One is we just uh, do a normal calculation 320 into 0.5. Do all these calculations and like we do 320 into 0.5. We just multiply it by five. That is zero. Then again five to the ten. You have one in hand. Then you have 15 through so 15 plus 116. And then there is <coughs> the point is in front of one put point here and you can even do that another way is doing it just you know there is point out here and there is zero out here so it's like if I use a zero as part of it is like 10 or if you just break it into 0 0.5 into 
10 into 32 is same. Now this 10 remove this point and bring it brings it here. Why? Because 0.5 is nothing but 5 by 10 into 10 into 320. So it gets cancels out. Oh, sorry, it's not 320. It's like it's like 32. So it gets cancels out. So whatever remaining is again 160 kgf. And you can even do it in this this the answer. So we got the answer. So that's okay. But then there are different type of people do different types of calculations. Okay. So it's like there's also another way like 0 0.5 into uh, 320. You have to you have to remember what did I say before that 0.5 is nothing but half. So if you, if we just take if we just take a different color out here just to do this. If we just take 320 into half. Instead of 0 0.5, you're just putting half. Instead of 0 0.5, just putting half. So half of 320. Now it's easy. Half of 320 is much easier. Like, okay, even if it's that difficult. Half of 300, that's easy. 300, half, 150. You have 300 rupees. You have to divide it two parts. You get 150 each. So we got 150. That's half of 300. Now there are 20. Half of 20, 10. So 150 plus 10. He got 160. So the various ways we can do this, we can do this, or even you can do this. Whichever way you feel comfortable in you, you have been practicing, and you are sure about, you can, you can, you can get the answer. Doesn't matter. So the thrust on piston B is that is question number three. Is this one sixty one six zero k? G F. So we get all the three answers. The pressure on piston A is 0 0.5 kgf, pressure B is 0 0.5 because the pressure everywhere is the same. It could be n number of pistons and you get the same pressure. So anywhere in the anywhere, anywhere in this in this in this space we have the same pressure always. And the thrust is nothing but pressure into area. And you feel this? That's that's the answer. So that that comes to the end of uh, all twelve numericals. I know this is not exhaustive. There could be plenty of numericals if you are following different books on uh, you know on pressure in fluids. And uh, you can come up with uh, the problems. I will solve it definitely without even saying trying it. I will really really solve it for you. Uh, but you understand uh, the only two principles, you know, one is Pascal's law, which states the pressure is transmitted undiminished equally throughout this fluid, no matter what, only it's, not, it's a frictionless fluid and there's no leakage in the tube so that whatever pressure I'm going, it doesn't goes out of the tube. So the, leak, the fluid should be there. And second, you know, uh, pressure is equal to force by area or, or thrust by area. Only if you remember this too and understand the language of the problem and take care of uh, the, the units, the SI units or the CGS units and everything, then the problem becomes much easier and, uh, you know, you can really score good marks in this. I'll come up with, uh, you know, the problems on other other chapters like the biancies, relative densities in my future videos. And another thing, I'll also come up with an experiment uh, showing Pascal's law. Proof Pascal's law, you know, in that. So stay tuned in my YouTube channel. Thank you.